So this is a nested sequence. And if we're going to represent this with a function, we're first going to have our function header, where we have our output as y, and our name is nest sequence. And our inputs are a, b, and c, which are all vectors of the same length. Now to figure out what that length is, we're just going to say n is equal to our length, and we'll just pick a, for example. Then we're going to initialize y to have this running nested sequence. So we're going to say y is equal to, now the first thing that we start off is a of 1 plus b of 1 times c of 1. So we're going to say a of 1 plus b of 1 times c of 1. Now, in order to get this to go, what we're going to do is do a for loop. So we're going to say 4i is equal to, now we want to go through n times. So we're going to say 2 through n because we've already used number 1 right here. So for i of 2 through n, we're going to say y is equal to, now every time we have this little sequence, we're multiplying it by b of 2, c of 2, and then adding the a, and then multiplying by b of 2, c of 2, adding the a, multiplying by b and c, adding a. So we're going to say y is equal to y multiplied by b of i, and then multiplied by c of i, and then just adding the a on top. And that's how it's going to end off with the last part, where we're going to multiply by b and c and add the a. And so we're just going to end our for loop right there. We can end our function right there. And that should be the end of this function.